YouTube, it is your boy Rod, the video game holder here, and you are there. And uh, what this video is going to be is a collection video. Uh, I'm going to try to do a couple this beginning of this year to uh, kind of document what I have and what I'm going to have at the end of the year. So we'll see if it went up, went down, whatever. Um, this is a system I kind of want to collect for, but it's expensive and so hard to find. Um, I'm going to say probably besides Neo Geo, it's probably... Uh, one of the harder to find systems to uh, collect for. Um, and kind of expensive, especially the, the better games. But um, I do have a little bit of a collection, so let me go with it. And I will show you the collection I do have. Um, I don't know, maybe 20, 20 something games, 30 games, maybe. I don't know. I will show you. I have a couple loose ones, and then I'll show you. Um, the ones that are together. So, without further ado, it is for the TurboGrafx-16, uh, which is a system I never owned when I was a kid. Um, my next door neighbor actually had it. I had a Super Nintendo, and he ended up getting a TurboGrafx, so I went over his house to play it. Um, I remember playing Bonks, and I remember playing this... Uh, I don't know if it's Magical Sword or something, where you're like... Uh, I think... Um, Maybe like a knight, and then there's a wizard or something, and you're grabbing potions and getting all the weapons and other stuff. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was a pretty cool game from what I remember. Um, but here we go. So I got a couple loose ones, and then I got ones in cases, and then there's a couple missing manuals too. But most of them are complete from what I remember. Now, I've picked up a couple here and there at thrifts when they randomly show up in flea markets. And then the bulk of them I got in a deal from a garage sale like years ago. Let me explain that one. Uh, it was actually a local one I just showed up at. Uh, I don't even remember if they listed video games or not, but there was one across the street from me, two of them. One right across from the other. Um, which I've gone to later on, and they didn't have video games, and I don't think they remembered who I was, but... Because um, they were supposed to call me about something else, and they never did, but... He had a... Uh, out... In the driveway, he had a Magnavox Odyssey 2 in a box. And then a whole bunch of games, which I think I've, I've sent most of them to Jason Dark Vetrix, because uh, he likes that. But, um, I don't think, I didn't send him a system because he doesn't need it, but I still have that in the box. So, I was like, what do you want for this? He said 10 bucks for the Odyssey 2 in the box, and then maybe like, I don't remember how many games it was, like 15 complete in box games, and then some loose ones too. So it's probably out of total, total of 30 games. And then uh, I was like, oh, that's cool. And then he's like, you interested in other gaming stuff? Before I even asked him. And I was like, yeah, what do you have? He's like, oh, I might have some Turbo Graphics in the, in the house. So I was like, oh, that's sweet. So he came out uh, in a fishing tackle box. I don't have the, the, the system, but I have the system. I got that. And then uh, probably about 20 games. And I was like, what do you want for that? And he's like, 10 bucks. My dude, man, that's like ridiculous. So, um, as people are messaging me on Facebook, damn you, Corey and Dan. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, yeah, so, um, I got it for 10 bucks. Uh, the system in 20 games, uh, nothing super cool. There was one game that actually I really wanted, but I think it's either in the system, I don't remember seeing it, but maybe, hopefully, because there's another game in the case, or uh, it's just gone. And then, um, he also told me that, um, oh my god, people, we gotta stop. There's other messages coming in, too. Sorry, um, I'm not editing that out. <laughs> um, so, uh, then, um, 
<sighs> oh yeah, so he told me uh, he also had uh, the handheld version, so I was like, holy crap. So uh, he's like, I don't know where it is now, but I know I have it somewhere. So well, let me take your number down, blah, blah, blah. You know how that goes. So I never got called for it, ever. So uh, so who knows? Somebody got the Turbo Graphics handled, uh, but I didn't get it. But again, I got all those games for 10 bucks plus the system. So I thought it was a really, really awesome deal. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, so anyway. I think these are all the HU cards, and there's no uh, Turbo CD games or whatever. Um, but here we go. Falcon. I think this one's actually uh, has some value to it. Uh, I think it's an RPG. New Tro Tropia to, uh, 2. And then, of course, Bonk's Adventure. Bonk's being the, basically the mascot of Turbo Graphics. Uh, okay, and then let's go through the games. Um, let me grab the ones that uh, are missing the manuals. It's weird because these games don't even have like anything on the back. Like, see, you would expect something on the back. It's like nothing there. Like, it's really weird. I guess all the games just kind of sit like this, but still. I mean, those are really, you can tell what they are, but uh, it's still be cool to have some pack art. But here we go. Uh, King of the Casino, which I'm sure is a stellar game. And <laughs> Chew Man Fu. I don't know if you're chewing on gum or maybe on a man while you're doing Kung Fu. So, I'm kind of interested in what the hell this is. Uh, then the actual complete games. Here we go. World Class Baseball. Dungeon Explorer. Uh, Bloody Wolf. Dragon's Curse. Victory Run. Um, I think this one's kind of a cool one. Ninja Spirit. Night Creatures, TV Sports Football, um, I think I had this already, didn't I? Yeah, I do. So I have doubles of this. Victory Run. I don't know why I have doubles of that. Oh, this one I picked up from my buddy, um, uh, Jose at the Flea Market, that's why. So I forgot about that one. So I have two copies of that. Um... Jack Nicholas Turbo Golf, which I picked up for five bucks, and you heard the, the Turbo story in one of my more recent pickups. Gunboat, which I got at a flea mart, uh, no, at a thrift store. Um, it was listed at nineteen ninety nine, but it was half off video games that day, so it was nine ninety nine. Uh, Vigilante, World Court uh, Tennis, Ballistics, which looks kind of weird. Again, I wish they had back art so I could show you some of the back art, but there's nothing. TV Sports Hockey. Legendary Axe. Final Lap Twin. Boxing Champions Forever, which has, uh, wow, a lot of uh, main uh, boxing uh, greats. And this one, Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu, which unfortunately, when I open it up, has Keith Courage. So I'm hoping Keith Courage, um, he has Kung Fu in the actual system. I don't remember seeing it. Um, I haven't played any of these games, so. But again, for, ten, well, I got a couple of these after, but for 10 bucks for most of these, that was a hell of a deal. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping Jackie Chan's in the system and maybe not in that portable system that I never got. So, but who knows? I have the case of manual for it if anybody needs it. <laughs> or I couldn't find Jackie Chan and put it together myself. But. So that's it. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I got 24 games um, in my turbo set. 
So uh, let's see where I am at the end of the year. So I'm going to do a couple more of these uh, hopefully soon. Um, I like to do a PlayStation 1 one. See where I am from there, because uh, that was my favorite system, and it still is, but as you guys know, I was going for a complete set at one time, and now it's over, but um, I still kept a lot of the RPGs and more expensive titles, and you guys know I got some of the sealed ones too, but uh, so I'd like to do that. Uh, probably boxed NES, maybe 64, uh, Super Nintendo too, so a lot of... Uh, more favorite systems of mine. So, a uh, Dreamcast too. I love Dreamcast. So I love to do a Dreamcast one too. But that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Rob is out.